in a quaint village nestled at the base of a majestic mountain range, lived a young girl named Elara. She had a heart full of dreams that seemed as boundless as the sky. Alara's greatest passion was music. From the time she was a child, she would lose herself in the melodies of the wind rustling through the trees, the gentle babbling of the brook, and the songs of the birds that filled the air with enchantment. Alara's family wasn't wealthy, but they always supported her aspirations. Her parents saved every coin they could to buy her a violin. She practiced tirelessly, her fingers dancing on the strings, weaving tales of hope and resilience. The village folk would gather around whenever she played, mesmerized by the emotions she evoked through her music. One day, news arrived that a grand music competition would be held in the capital city where musicians from all corners of the land would showcase their talents. The winner would be awarded a coveted scholarship to a prestigious music academy. Alara's heart swelled with excitement. This was her chance to shine, to show the world the beauty she could create. With her family's encouragement and blessings, Elara embarked on a journey to the capital city. The competition was fierce and nerves clung to her like a heavy cloak. As she took the stage, her heart raced, and her hands trembled. However, the moment her bow touched the strings, all doubts vanished. Her music echoed through the hall, carrying the dreams of a young girl who had found her voice in notes and rhythms. But the outcome was not as she hoped. The judges announced another contestant as the winner. Crushed. Elara returned to her village. Her dreams shattered like delicate glass. She felt as if the music had abandoned her, leaving a void she didn't know how to fill. Weeks turned into months, and Elara withdrew from her music, immersing herself in self-doubt. The village, once filled with the sound of her melodies, now echoed with silence. One evening, as the sun set behind the mountains, Elara wandered to the edge of the forest the wind whispered through the trees. A melancholic tune that resonated with her heart. Sitting beneath a tree, she picked up her violin, its strings dusty and neglected. She began to play, not with the intention of impressing anyone, but to pour her emotions into the music. Tears mingled with the notes, and as darkness embraced the land, something magical happened. Fireflies emerged from the shadows, their delicate glow weaving a dance of light around her. Unbeknownst to Elara, a passerby had been drawn by the ethereal spectacle. It was a renowned musician who had judged the competition. He stood in awe, realizing that he had made a grave mistake. Alara's music was no longer about winning. It was about expressing her soul. The musician approached Elara and shared his realization. He offered her an opportunity to perform at a concert he was organizing to celebrate resilience in the power of comebacks. Elara hesitated, her confidence still fragile, but the memory of the fireflies dancing to her music emboldened her. The night of the concert arrived, and Elara stood on the stage once again. Her violin cradled in her arms as the first notes resonated. A hushed silence fell over the audience. Her music wasn't about proving herself anymore. It was about embracing the setbacks and finding strength in them. The concert was a triumph. Not just for Elara, but for everyone who had faced setbacks and disappointments. Her melodies told a story of hope. Courage and the beauty that can emerge from darkness. And as she played, fireflies filled the hall, their twinkling lights illuminating the journey of resilience. From that moment on, Alara's fame spread far and wide. Her music touched hearts, reminding people that setbacks were merely stepping stones towards a greater comeback. She became a symbol of strength and a living testament to the fact that every setback was indeed in opportunity for a magnificent comeback. And so, in the village nestled at the base of the mountains, 
Alara's melodies resonated once more. Not just with the beauty of nature, but with the symphony of resilience that echoed in every heart.